This is my Dell Inspiron 3580 laptop. It's got four gigabytes of memory standard, but you can maximize it out to 16 gigabytes. And that's what we're going to do today on the channel. So if you've got one of these and you want to upgrade it, here's how to do it. Step one, we've got to remove all these little Phillips head screws that you see all on the bottom side of the laptop. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got all the screws removed, but it's worth noting that not all these screws are the same size. These two screws here, these close ones here, those are very small. I've got this little magnetic bowl. These are the two smallest screws and they go here. Then you've got all the other screws that go around the perimeter all down here. And those screws are of a medium length and those are right there. Then here at the back corner of your laptop right here, the back corners of your laptop have the two longest screws and those look like that so make sure when you put the screws back you put them back where they need to go and this screw right here just just doesn't want to come out it's completely all the way screwed out completely but when we go ahead and pry this out it'll go ahead and lift out just note that now that we've got all the screws removed we can actually remove this drive out of here and it just slides right out super simple because well one screw was holding that in and we removed that so easy enough now that we've done that there's two screws right here two more screws we need to remove and then we can separate this cover okay that lifted off really easy uh for me i started doing it from the back side and that was the easiest way because you can get your fingers up under here and gently begin to pry and work your way around and that was the easiest way now that we've done that, here's the RAM. Here's the standard four gigabytes. Here's an empty slot here. So we just need to take this four gigabytes of RAM out. I have already purchased two eights to put in here. So let's talk about how you do that. Okay, so the way you remove the old RAM, you've got these little tabs here on each side and you're just gonna really kind of expand those out and then you can get the RAM out. I used two hands to uh, pull each side very gently and it popped up just like so. And now we can take the RAM out. It only goes in one way because it's got that slot right there. So we're gonna install the new one and snap it back into place. Okay, so I've got my one eight gigabyte here. And uh, so we're gonna put it in, it fits right into that slot. You're gonna put it in at an angle just like so. And then you can gently press it down and it'll snap right into place and it's as simple as that so i'm going to go ahead and put the other one in on the other side and guess what we'll be ready to put the case back on okay so there we go now we have 16 gigabytes of ram installed on our dell inspiron 3580 laptop there's the old four gigabytes it's all good i'm going to go ahead and put this lid on and then we can get this thing screwed back together you don't have to press very hard but this does snap back into place. I kind of pressed a little bit here and around the edges, not so much in the center where all the components are, just around the edges. Everything feels nice and snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the screws. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drive back in. Well, I'm gonna get these two screws back in first, get the drive in, and then we'll get all the rest of the screws back together. So quick correction on the screws. This is a short screw here that one, sh there's one short screw that goes here. There's one short screw that goes here. If you're looking at it with the Inspiron facing you, there's a long screw or, or one of those medium length screws I showed you earlier goes right here. And then you've got your two long screws that go in the back. And then the rest of them are just those medium length screws and that'll figure, uh, finish it up for you. Okay, so it's all screwed back together. All the screws are in the right place. Everything feels and looks right. Only thing left to do now is just turn it on, power it up, and uh, check it out. Make sure the system says that it's got 16 gigabytes of memory. So let it boot up and then we'll check back in. So it took a minute for the system to boot up like longer than normal. I was getting kind of worried for a second there, but now this message pops up letting us know alert the amount of system memory has changed we know that that's all good 
we're gonna go ahead and click continue. Seems like the system rebooted and restarted now, so we'll see what happens. Okay, there's my start screen. That's a good sign, so let me go ahead and sign in and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see right here, uh, that we've got installed RAM is 16 gigabytes of RAM now. So result, everything seems fine. So that's how you upgrade the RAM on your Dell and Spiron 3580 laptop. If you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like the video. Thanks for watching.